I am a huge believer of putting things out in the world or putting an idea out in the universe and sort of through serendipity or whatever it may be, it, it appears or, you know, you might laugh or say like, you know, the concept of a vision board. And I've had this incredible look and, and I call it luck because really it's that of you know, thinking about a car, trying to research a car, and then two or three months later, a year later, someone calls me about that specific car. So about a year ago, Valentino Balboni was here for our, our Miami Concours event, and he was around the Countach Turbo, and he actually drove it in, in a video that we did. And Valentino was telling me the story of a Diablo SV TT, which the TT stood for twin turbo. And I believe it was in 1998, um, and actually probably before that, that the Lamborghini distributor, Vic Colunian, a very well-known name uh, for good and bad reasons, um, had the idea and concept, and you have to give them a lot of credit, to create twin turbo Diablos. There was the VTTT, there was a VTTT Roadster, there was all these different sort of variants. And Valentino had been invited to drive his new SVTT. So I guess the story goes that Valentino gets in this car and he's with the developer or the engineer and he goes and he's about to get on the highway and he punches it and he's, you know, going first gear, second gear and boom. I mean, completely grenades the motor, blows the engine and the, the, the engineer is just shocked. So Valentino laughed and he said, no, I never, I never saw the car again. So it sort of put the idea in my mind, what happened to these twin turbo cars? So I started looking on the internet and I, I remembered some photos and the Diablo SVTT was created. It was a dark, sort of a, a dark metallic blue color with black interior. There was some great press photos of it. I think the MSRP was 750,000. But, you know, after the car, I, I believe Auto Week tested it and then the car disappeared. So, you know, made a footnote of it. Okay, very cool. You know, maybe we'll see it one day. Four months go by and I get a call one day. And it's one of my really good friends and colleagues and he mentions to me, hey, John, I've got this Diablo SV. Uh, it's a twin turbo for you and it's dark blue. And I realize, okay, that's the car. So we've found this car. So he describes the car to me as not running great, which is a little scary with any twin turbo car, but especially a aftermarket twin turbo Diablo. And he says it needs a few things, but it's actually low miles. We agree on a price pretty quickly. I told them I'd be interested anywhere between 180 and 200. They agreed. I think that weekend I was on a flight. So I remember actually, um, staying near Malibu because the, the, the car was located in Calabasas, drove to Calabasas and I arrived to this cool little house with these funky cars. And in the back of the house in like this carport was this Diablo under a tarp. And unfortunately it was in a pretty bad shape of disrepair. I mean, the foundation was good. The interior was very nice. But like you can see, the wheels had corrosion. You could tell the car had been sitting, the front bumper was broken. The car was just really dirty and the car would not start. So I was really intrigued. It was definitely a piece of history. I mean, it's not factory, but it was cool. And I was sort of doing numbers in my head. What would it take to get it running? You know, and figure a 5,000 mile Diablo SV is worth a lot of money. It could be 300,000 or more. And I realized quickly that this was gonna be a big project. So I, we sort of, I tried to negotiate them down, they agreed, and while I was inspecting the car, I realized that all of the stitching inside was like bright green, which was sort of funny for a blue car. The piping was bright green. So I'm looking at all these features and I'm like, huh. I'm looking around the doors and I'm looking inside the headlights and I realized that the car was actually originally bright green. So I jump online, I start doing some research, and this is literally while I'm still in California trying to negotiate with these guys. So probably the best color, I believe, for a Diablo SV that was produced in period is Verde Scandal. And it was this bright chartreuse color. They didn't make too many. Um, it looks like the original Mura Verde color. 
And one of the cars was actually, um, it was Verde Scandal on blue, which looked so cool. It was delivered new to Lamborghini Miami. So that car's in Texas, very cool car. And the other car, reading online, in some sort of nerd chat rooms, was actually Verde Scandal with black, with green stitching, and at some point it was apparently in an accident. So, sort of put one and one together, what I believe happened was a new Verde Scandal Diablo SV was delivered, was in an accident, and then they decided, okay, we're gonna take this car, we're gonna build a twin turbo, we're gonna repaint the car, but we'll leave the interior. So obviously this was the car. Um, I started doing more research, I checked with the factory, and yes, it was originally a Verde scan. it was the Ver second Verde Scandal car. So, you know, it's too unfortunate because I fell in love with the car. And, you know, my passion side said, okay, we're gonna strip the car down, or we're gonna restore the car, we're gonna bring it back to Verde Scandal. But, you know, restoring a car properly could be 100,000, it could be 200,000, and really, you know, you can still find very nice Diablo SV examples. So why are you gonna restore this car? So I started thinking like, you know, weighing all the options and, and honestly, for us and the quality of cars we have, it just didn't make sense. Cool piece of history, incredible car to be restored. But unfortunately, while we sort of rediscovered the Diablo SVTT, we didn't make a deal and it did make it home to curate it.